My name is Koshin Finley. I'm an artist born and raised in Los Angeles, currently living, breathing, and making art in Hollywood. Through telling the story of the people in LA and through my friends and through this community of mine, their stories are really universal. So we're here at Hilltop Cafe in Inglewood, California. I'm here with my man, Spencer Paysinger. How are you doing, Spencer? You good? Good. 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 Thank you for being here with me. Honored to be here with you, man. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me like what you got going and like what we're doing here. Uh, I grew up in South Central Los Angeles. I uh, went to high school in Beverly Hills, uh, Beverly Hills High, and that's where we thought of the show All American, which is a young black kid from South Central attending uh, Beverly Hills High School. Uh, I had the opportunity to play football at University of Oregon. Uh, my last game there was losing the national championship to Cam Newton. Uh, but a year later, uh, I went undrafted to the New York Giants, ended up winning the Super Bowl in my first year. Played a total of seven years in the NFL and actually retired from the NFL when I heard that All-American was being sent to pilot. Um, and ever since then, for the past two years, I've been working on All-American in the writing and producing capacity. So. Uh, it's been great. It's kind of a coincidence that you own a coffee shop now that we're at Hilltop Cafe because everybody writes screenplays <laughs> in coffee shops. Yeah. How did you transition then from, from being a screenwriter, producer, and also being a football player into now being a part of this? So my last year playing, um, I got released from the Jets and I was back out here training. In that time, one of my good friends, um, uh, AJ Rillon, who's a, uh, he's, the creator, what half creator slash owner of Hilltop, he was talking about potentially raising money for this coffee concept and thinks it could be really cool. And we were thinking about what we wanted to bring to this neighborhood, what was at the top of our list. It was we want a place where the community can come and be free to create, to talk, to collab, to eat, to joke yeah. around, or what have you. But anything that we can do for the neighborhood to be able to say, hey, when we look at Hilltop, this is a place where we know we can create something, where we know we will see people we haven't seen in 10 or 15 years, or or meet new friends at the community spots. Like That's when we know we're doing a good job with Hilltop, and that's why at the top, it's the community at the end of the day. Amazing. And telling your story that is based in LA, obviously being able to connect with people all over the world now, and having been a football player and been living in other cities all over the U.S., what what made you say, okay, I need to go back home? There's no place like Los Angeles. Yeah. Like this, this is arguably the one place where you can drive on one street for three hours yeah. and still be in Los Angeles. So yeah. It's it's home for me. It's, it's a neighborhood feel, even when I came back. Once I knew I was retired, um, there was really no, it's no place like home for me. Yeah.